Next up at UFC 284, Justin Taffa takes on Parker Porter in what I think is quite an underrated fight. Um, I'll be quick with this. Both these guys tend to go to decision a lot, and I think the line was kind of set to go that way, and money is now coming in on the under, which I immediately thought, like, the way these guys match up, I could really see Taffa knocking him out. Uh, Taffa's got really good power, and it hasn't really shown yet in the UFC, but he's fought some really durable dudes, like not the highest of skill level, but extremely durable boys. Um, I don't know. I like this fight. I think Taffa's just the better striker. He's cleaner, um, slightly better shape. I don't know. I, I think Taffa has some value on him here at like the minus 135 range. He opened around 115, so not a ton of movement here. But uh, yeah, I kind of think this one could go under, and I kind of like the Taffa side. Can't really make a decision on it, but like you're getting plus 380 on Taffa by decision and plus 360 on Porter by decision, yet they almost always go there. Uh, I think that says a lot about this fight potential to go under and the line move out from minus 115 on under two and a half to minus 140, minus 145 range. Uh, I got to say, I agree with like that being the correct move. It's probably in the 60% chance range now. So the line's probably getting very close to right. Um, so value probably gone on it, but I like this fight, man. It's going to be a fun one to watch. Uh, and I kind of think Taffa is quite underrated. Mace, do you like Parker Porter in this fight? Or are you a Taffa truther today? Uh, this is, this is going to be a tough one. I think uh, as far as like outside of the, top of the mountain for heavyweights this is going to be a pretty fun fight i think yeah. uh tafa he's got okay striking he for sure has got some good power uh he does not have very good volume of striking though uh parker porter for sure will be throwing more volume um i think he's the better grappler but i'm not necessarily sure he's going to get like offensive takedowns here uh, Parker will probably look to strike to get into the clinch and then work from inside the clinch. But uh, I'm not necessarily sure he's going to be able to complete the full takedown. But if he can get some Finch pressure, I think that will bode well for him. Uh, outside of Jailton Almeida, too, Parker Porter has been very durable. Um, so I'm not sure. I mean, Tafa probably can knock him out if he does carry some good power. But uh, no, no real cardio. It's kind of a first rounder bust sort of guy, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, he's got some pretty low level wins. Uh, I mean, we were ragging earlier about Harry Hunsucker and Ike Villanueva. Yeah, these are probably two worse wins, honestly. Um, so there's that. Parker's fought the much better level competition. I definitely think there's a world he can out volume him take over in the later rounds and win as an underdog here. But I also see Tafa chewing up Porter's front leg, uh, really negating all of his movement. And if he's standing still while Tafa's swinging those heavy limbs, uh, I actually think Tafa could probably knock him out. So yes. kind of tough to pick a side. I would lean maybe a little more towards the Porter side. Um, and if Porter wins, I think it'd probably be more on the decision side of things, where if Tafa wins, I think it's more on the KO side of things. Hmm. Yeah, I think they're probably close in terms of the volume, but I, I feel like Tafa is just so much more dangerous. I don't know. I know it hasn't shown up that much. He's got one knockout in his last few fights, right? But it's like, I just feel like he's almost due for it. Um He's landed some really big strikes early on in his career that just didn't put guys away. I think he's got the power and the technique advantage. Uh, Cardio-wise, I'm not really sure, though. You're right, it might actually favor Porter and volume could be there. Um, but gun to head, I think there's slight value on top at minus 135 fighting at home. Again, we get in these situations where Porter really has to win the rounds. Like, close rounds will probably go to Tafa. That's just the way it is when you have the hometown cooking. It doesn't feel like Porter's the kind of guy that's going to really run away with rounds. So, um, yeah, pretty hard lean on Justin Taffa. For me, it's a favorite or pass. 